In this video, we're gonna show how to use the mulligan paddle tail around mangroves. We have some mangroves back here behind us. We're gonna talk about some, some rigging tips and tricks, also some casting essentials that'll go from totally having very low odds of success to skyrocketing odds of success. Some small little tweaks can make a big deal. So as far as rigging, this is important. So we'll start with this, must be weedless. Mangroves are incredibly good at snagging onto lures. You can see there's all sorts of leaves, branches, even if you snag on a little, the smallest of branches, it'll, mangroves are amazingly good at, at not only catching a lure, but holding on to it. So the key is to be weedless. So this lure, which is the four inch mulligan paired on the three aught Haas Helix hook is by far my favorite. It stays extremely weedless while still having a good hookup rate. So how it works, right? Just like a normal rigging of a weighted hook. And if you don't know how to do that, we have other videos to, to show that. But instead of laying it just right on top, like I do on the flats, for around mangroves or even oysters, I just, it's called skin hooking, where you just take the hook point, dig it in. Uh, this lure has already caught a few fish, so it's a little bit banged up, but you can still skin hook. And now there's nothing for these mangroves to grab onto. So even if I do get a little bit too aggressive on my cast and get a little bit too far, get around some trees, it is very rare that it actually gets stuck. So now we can start casting on it. So the easy, you know, the easiest thing to do is to cast at points, right? So points, are a, are a great target to fish. And so the key is the, just to get as close to the trees as possible without getting snagged. And so I just made a little cast up there. There's some oysters on the bottom there that I forgot about, but uh, the fact that I'm weedless, I didn't get snagged. And so now just, just cast up there, let it sink to the bottom, because even on the fall, this lure has a nice tail motion. This lure rigged on this hook has a really nice tail motion as it falls. So let it fall. A big mistake people make is when they cast it, they get the perfect cast, they'll get a perfect cast up under the trees and they'll immediately start reeling it out. So the fish just really don't have that much time to find, you know, to, to kind of seek out what made that splash and to go get it. So other mistake is casting overhand, right? So this next cast, I'm gonna start pinpointing. I, I already covered the point there. We can cast overhand, no problem. It's actually better to cast overhand when you're hitting a point, that way you can get the, the, line, the line right. When we're starting to go at the trees, now we need to cast with a, with a sidearm cast. We need, we need that lure to basically try to slide in there and even skip to get up underneath the trees. If you can get up underneath the trees, underneath these, these overhangs for mangroves or fishing docks to get up under docks, if you can get that up under there, that is just gonna skyrocket your catch rate. Most of the strikes happen up under the bushes. That's where the fish are most comfortable. They're gonna be less, uh, less spooky. And especially if the sun's out, they'll be down there to seek out a little bit cooler water. So do everything you can to get comfortable and confident on skipping the lure up under the, the trees. And this setup skips incredibly well, right? Four inch paddle tail, weighted hook, keep it weedless. So the key though, again, kind of a cast over on this side, so you can't really see all that well, but the key is just to have a sidearm motion and have that lure go parallel to the water and then just let it rip, right? So I had a, a skipped it about, it landed about two feet away from the trees and then it skipped about three feet further in. So really, really big deal to be able to do that. And, I let, and again, once, it's, once it landed, let it fall to the bottom, let it sit there for a second and then start reeling in. It is shocking how many fish hit right on the fall or like a second or two after it hits the bottom. So make sure to take advantage of that, of that thing. So a big problem with overhand casting, right? A lot of people are just more comfortable doing this. Yes, it does work, but when you're doing this overhand cast, there's really not much margin for error. If, if you, and the, the lure splashes very hard. So we're, we're having that lure go up really high and now splashing on the water. If it's under three feet of water, fish are just trained, even big ones are trained to just know that a, a different splash, a splash that they're not familiar with is danger. So highly, highly recommend not doing overhand. Again, if you go a little bit too far, now you're in the trees. And if you go a little bit too short, now you're smacking the lure on the water. Where conversely, if you get used to this sidearm, and now as long as you get the distance right, even if you hold on a little bit too far, it would take you further this way, or, or you let go a little bit too early, as long as you have that distance right, it is going to skim right above the surface. It's going to land in front of the tree, in front of the trees, and then it's going to skip up underneath. So again, we'll do it. Do another one. We'll just try to go for this little uh, this little gap right there. So again, keep it low. Skip up under there. I'm literally like five feet up under the shade. Let it fall to the bottom, and now start doing the retrieve out. If you do this consistently, 
in your fishing mangroves, you're, it's very rare that you don't catch at least something. There's so many fish that live up under these trees and, and really not many people are comfortable with, uh, with targeting them because they're not using weedless lures. If you try to do this with, uh, with the hook with treble hooks or even a jig head with an exposed hook, it is just gonna be a nightmare. I, trust me, I used to do it for many years. Once I switched this sort of setup where it's a, it's a weighted hook on a paddle tail that has totally skyrocketed my results on fishing mangroves. So when you're looking at the mangroves, trying to decide where to cast, these little pockets, I'll get even with the camera. So that pocket right there, we've already covered it. Next, we're gonna go see these little pockets over here. Any sort of little pocket where you can, you can push that lure up under the tree, there's another pocket down there. So that's where I'm gonna be targeting. And again, if I, if I cast a little bit too far on one side, it should be okay. So get a nice skip in there. So I was a little bit too far to the right, it skipped, it hit up against that mangrove and it fell straight down. Nope, oh, so now there we are. So here's a good, this will actually be a really good test. So when you get around a mangrove, it is gonna happen. The worst thing you do is set is pull the pull back really hard. That's the instinctual thing to do. But when you do that, all you're doing is you're setting the hook in the tree, just like if you're setting looking at a fish. So instead of pulling back real hard, just do a nice little, nice little small twitches. And what that's gonna do, first of all, you won't get you won't let that hook come out of the lure. Secondly, it's gonna fall straight down in the strike zone. So you can see it fell straight down. Hopefully we catch one, that would be pretty cool. But in many cases, I've caught a ton of fish doing that where just do a small little twitches. And, I, and you couldn't see me there, but what I was doing is with the rod tip up, I was just doing small little twitches, small little taps. And with that, that lure is basically kind of just, just barely bumping up over the branches and then it'll just fall straight down. So those are the key tips for fishing this mulligan around structure. Again, just make sure that it's weedless. The closer to structure you are, the more weedless you want to make it, really the more important it is to be weedless. And so, and, and same for the, the weighted hook or jig head that you use, make sure to match it to your depth. This is my favorite, just all purpose. This is a three out Haas Helix hook with the one eighth ounce weight. Great all purpose setup for fishing. Anything less than two and a half, really anything less than three feet of water, this thing is great. But as you get to deeper water, you need to have heavier gear. You need to be able to make sure that you're on the bottom. So if you're fishing deeper mangroves, instead of rigging it on the weighted hook like this, that's when I go to the Haas weedless football jig. That way I'm still weedless, but with the, the Haas weedless football jig, the weight is up front and it's heavier, so it'll pull that lure down much more efficiently. So depth control is crucial, being weedless is crucial, and then casting ability is crucial. So what I'll do, if you haven't yet seen, if you're new to skip casting, I'll put a tutorial that, go, that goes through the mechanics on just making sure that you're able to, to confidently and consistently push your lures up under the trees. Once you do that, and once you get good at, at just rigging the lure, cast in there, let it fall to the bottom and reel it out, is shockingly good at catching all sorts of fish. Thank you so much for your time and watching. Any questions at all, comment down below. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.